Hey everybody, Jen Crevasse, Jekyll, but wait a minute. That's not how I start a video. Good morning, fish heads, Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates, and this is a proper handheld shop update. You guys have been asking me for a couple of weeks, hey, what are you doing? What have you been up to? What are you painting? I've got some stuff that's online on JekyllBates.com site. And I've got a few of those pieces here to show you. I've got one left, the Strike King 3XD. It is in the malt crawl, the malting crawl. Head on over to JekyllBates.com right now and snatch it up because it's the last one that I'm going to be doing for the summer. I'm going to be doing other crawls, but that's I got a special on 3XDs, so I figured I would save those for a special occasion, and this is the time. This is probably the last month that I would fish red, but these are ready to go. All of these are ship ready immediately. I've got some ghost gills, and you can see the transparency in that. If we hold that up, you can definitely see. That is a ghost gill. So I've got a few of those left. I've got a 1.5 left, and then just a couple of other things, some mouse wakes. I don't have the tails on these yet, but you guys can see online on the website what those tails look like. These are, we're, so we're finally slowly starting to get some of the stuff because we're still not open. So we are just hustling and hustling, trying to get production back up to full speed. We've had some college graduates, so congratulations to Chris Jones here at Bullshad, not only on your graduation from college, but your promotion to production manager here at Bullshad. Super, super happy for you. May you have the very best in life, and I hope that you stay here with us as long as you see fit to do so. So this is a trick, but these are going into the storefront for a later day. So they're hustling upstairs in production. They're hustling down here. Um, shipping is on fire. Everything in Bullshad is running at full steam ahead. I uh, just wanted to show you a couple of pieces that I did drop. This is that beautiful peacock bass. I've got a couple of different patterns on this. And this is in that six inch swimmer. This is a little bit more gray green. So I have one of these guys left. I like both of them very much. This is a little brighter, a little bolder, but this has got that traditional peacock blue tail. So check those out. The resin baits are offered also. Every once in a while, I'll do a couple of drops here and there on my website so that you guys can see those. I've got a few of these going out. Um, <laughs> website things. So my life has become super, super busy. You guys, if you follow me on social media and social platforms, you know that I'm all over the place. I'm a fly fisherman, learning and getting into the more advanced type stuff. Really love fly fishing, really love swim bait fishing. So it's either I'm an extreme person. I'm either doing a whole lot of these, throwing these off the swim bait rods, or I'm fly fishing. And I love them both dearly. Uh, but in, in addition to this and teaching you guys how to do it over here at the spray bench, I'm also filming. So I do a lot of filming these days, and I'm filming for On the Flying Excursions out of Blue Ridge, Georgia, which is super beneficial to you guys, to me, and to them. Um, they get a partner that can travel around with them with a camera and edit on the post-production side of things, and also... Uh, I get some uh, some water time, which is fantastic, and I get to hone my craft, which if you guys know anything about me, I've got almost 850 videos on the channel. Some are old and crusty and cringy. Some of them are pretty well produced. So as I evolve as an artist and as an airbrush person, I also dabble and love to film. I just I always have. My mom was an arts major in college. And used to take me as a little girl to college class with her, which was photography. It was the arts. It was pottery. It was everything that uh, that surrounded me when I was young. And I've carried that through. And I've been very lucky. She's a single mom. She has always treated me as if she were both parents, which is fantastic. And and I, I can't I can't thank her enough for the background that I have in my life. And it's because of her that I am able to do what I do today. Long story short, so. Um, handheld today, yeah, I've got all that stuff over there, but I just kind of felt like giving you guys more of an organic grassroots approach to things here at the shop. So that's what's going on. I'm going to get a few more of these bull gills painted up probably by the weekend and drop those. Um, stay tuned. 
I do not have a newsletter. A lot of folks have newsletters on their websites. I just don't. I try and uh, try and keep you guys updated on Instagram and Facebook, and I'm going to be rolling into TikTok, phasing through that. I, I, I'm still hesitant uh, on that one. So we'll see how that goes. I know a lot of people are doing TikTok these days. So basically, that's what I've got to show you. I do have a couple of these left as well. Just real pretty summer gills with those uh, KBD Mustad super sticky extra wide gap short shank hooks. So that is all the news that's fit to print on my side of things. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. We've got a little Texas Pete. I'll show you these guys real quick. The red breast. This is um, one of the things that I like to do just real quick because uh, as I go, I wanted to show you guys that you can utilize the patterns that are under there. So uh, I got a bunch of these from Ketchco. They sent me a, a batch of bull gills, which thank you, Ketchco, for supporting my habit, if you will. Um, and these have that beautiful holographic flash in them. This is their ruby gill. And you can use that to your advantage. And if you guys can see that flash underneath, just put that... Uh, just put that thread cloth down and then paint your pattern over top of that. And when you peel that up, and if you are saying thread cloth, there's a name for it. And for the life of me, I haven't had enough coffee to be able to remember what this stuff is. But you guys know what it is. It's the webbing. Um, once you peel that up off of your pattern, you're still going to have that beautiful flash underneath of it. And it might just be that extra little kick that you need to catch that fish. And uh, that's just one of the things that you can do. So that's a little tip and trick for the day. A ghost shad. Um, as soon as I get some more clear bodies, again, I will do some ghost shad for you guys because it's one of my favorite patterns to do. And it's, uh, it's very pretty. One of my faves. A little bit of chrome in there as well. And then the three bar P. Love those P's. You guys seem to like them a lot too. So that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. And I'll see you guys on the next spray session, which should be coming sometime at the beginning of next week, maybe before if I get a chance to do it. But I've got some filming that I have to do. Um, and, and going back to this, I know I'm all over the board today. This uh, is Sean Hacker's order that was ordered back in November. Um, I've mentioned it on social media. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it here in the YouTube format on my channel. I had a hack attempt, a really bad one, um, from bots and some pretty bad malware in my Microsoft 365 platform, in my website host, for some reason, um, they just, they got me. Um, they didn't do any financial damage, thank God. Um, they were not able to get that far into the into the framework and the platform. Uh, but we had to change my entire email, which means I lost a lot of correspondence with you guys. I'm going to leave the link and the, the, the information in a description down here um, so the bots won't be able to see it and, and copy it, but you guys can if you need to get a hold of me. I do have a new email at my website. It is jkravasi, J-K-R-A-V-A-S-S-I at jekyllbaits.com. It used to be Jen Cravasi, but that one was compromised and we had to completely restructure it. So all of my emails, all of my correspondence, a lot of your guys' um, requests for patterns for open orders that I have were in there. And this one was one of the orders that just unfortunately slipped through the cracks on the website. So my apologies. As soon as he notified me, I'm like, oh my gosh. But it happened with a couple of them. And wholeheartedly apologize for that. So I'm getting back up to speed on your orders. And thank you for your patience. And that's all I've got. I promise this time we're going to make this one uh, an out. So you guys have a great rest of your week. Love y'all.